When they asked the um, teachers and principals at the strongest of these schools, what was the magic? What did they think was making the difference in these schools? The teachers and principals stressed two things, the academic rigor and the relationships with them. And, and, and I just want to say that because if you look at this whole body of literature that I'm talking about, those ideas, rigor and relationships, come up time and time and time again. Just one quick example, just because I think it's so expressive. Study from the, Chicago Consorci from the Consortium on Chicago School Research. After 25 years, I ought to know the damn name of the place, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, study from the consortium uh, on small high schools. And what this, this, this chart says, that first row across, if you go into small high schools where students say, we trust our teachers, and then compare those results to small high schools where students say, we don't trust these people up there, right? What difference is that associated with? This is correlational. It's associated with a difference of about a week in terms of how much they miss school, and it's associated with differences of, of one and a half fewer Fs, right? So students are probably doing more studying and just showing up. If you accumulate this over time, you wind up with, with students in the high trust schools graduating at a rate about 10% higher than students in low trust schools. And I like that, it's just a vivid demonstration of what we're talking about when we say strong relationships can matter.